2020 general election ballot issues and candidates for Delaware and Franklin County. This is created by Columbus Apapa Youth Chapter. My name is Grace Wong and I am president. My name is Armin Zong and I'm the secretary. My name is Brian Zhao and I'm the treasurer. My name is Abhi Boda and I am VP of Communications. My name is Eamon Hurley and I'm the VP of Development. My name is Sam Dang and I'm VP of Operations. So here are our reminders for important election dates. Upcoming dates include the sub submission deadline for absentee ballots, the end of the early voting period, and most importantly, election day, which is November 3rd, and polling locations in Ohio are open from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. We'll start with um, the candidates' positions and their rules that will be discussed in Franklin County and Delaware County candidates. So a lot of times um, people confuse state representatives with uh, the representatives of Congress. State Congress, uh, sorry, state representatives, um, they go to the Ohio State, sorry, the Ohio House of Representatives, and that's where they will represent districts. So um, Franklin County is like District 21. I don't know about other counties, but basically we elect a representative and they take our district issues to the um, House of Representatives in Ohio. Uh, they and then they also introduce new laws and different amendments. State representatives have the ability to set taxes and decide how tax money is spent. They also create the annual budget. State representatives work together to help their districts. So on the other hand, we have the state senators. So state senators obviously work in the Ohio State Senate, which is the upper house of the Ohio legislature. Um, a state senator is pretty similar to a representative in, in terms of like what they do. Um, both both house or both uh, houses typically will look over bills, like new policies, and then work together to, like to pass things such, such as taxes, etc. A state senator will typically re like represent the views of his or her constituents in, in their district. And one common misconception is that like representatives and senators have the same districts, which they don't. So obviously we have less state senators and representatives. So their districts are, are laid out slightly differently. So if you and a friend might have the same state senator, but you might not necessarily have the same representative. Um, I recently interviewed state senator Maharath and she talked about how a typical day as a senator involves a lot of reviewing bills, a lot of meetings, and a lot of just looking over and reviewing new policies. Sam? Uh, the Court of Appeals, it's the appellate courts and they have three judges and no jury. And the judges hold the hearing and decide the verdict because there is no jury. So, and the court of appeal hears challenges to district court decisions. So if you were to get an unfavorable ruling or something you didn't believe in, you could come to the court of appeals and appeal to the decision and then they could overturn or rehear the, your case. So we'll start with Franklin County and it's only ballot issue. So the proposed tax levy for Franklin County alcohol, drug and mental health. Um, this tax levy is for continuing mental health, alcohol and drug addiction programs, crisis residential and outpatient, outpatient treatment programs, school and community based prevention programs, and the tax levy will pass if there is a majority vote and there will be a renewal of 2.2 million an increase of 0.65 million for spending. Citizens will pay a rate not exceeding 2.85 mils for every $1 valuation, which totals 2.285 for every $100 of valuation. This will be for five years starting in 2021 and will be first due in 2022. The following will be candidates running for Ohio House of Representatives in District 21. 
So the first um, candidate is Beth Liston. Um, Beth Liston is running for re-election to the Ohio House of Representatives to represent District 12 as a member of the Democratic Party. Representative Liston is the current incubate, so which means that she ran last year, and so she's the current District 12, um, sorry, the District 21 um, representative, and she is running against Miha Cook of the Republican Party. Representative Liston grew up in Worthington, and at OSU, she is a professor of clinical medicine. She is focused on better health care, good schools and public education, economic development to ensure strong communities, and keeping the government responsible for their actions. So running against Representative Liston is Mahek Cook. Um, she'll be representing the Republican Party, and she'll be rep running to, uh, to unseat Representative Liston in the 21st State House District. So Mahek Cook was born in India and was the daughter of an Indian Navy sailor and a school teacher. And then she moved here and was raised in Ohio. Uh, prior to entering politics, she worked as an attorney and a TV commentator. And so her platform is a, t is a pretty typical conservative platform, um, fighting taxes, reducing re regulations on small businesses, maintaining funding to law enforcement. So she's against the whole defund the police movement and then focusing on local drug issues and healthcare. So now we'll be talking about the candidates running for state senator in his 16th district. So Crystal Lett is the Democrat running to replace incumbent Senator Kunze in the, in the Ohio Senate's 18th, or sorry, 16th district. Um, in the past, she hasn't been in politics much, but she has worked with many groups such as um, the Save the Children Action Network and Nationwide Children's Hospital. She has a record of supporting a lot of groups that support like maternity leave, um, child care rights and benefits, et cetera. And her platform is based on equal pay, child care benefits, reproductive choice, funding for public education and common sense gun regulations. Uh, she's lived in, Hill she's a Hilliard native and attended Davidson High School before attending the, the Ohio State University. And then she'll be running against uh, Senator Stephanie Kunze, who re represents the Republican Party. Uh, she is the current incumbent senator for the 16th district. While serving, or while serving her first term, she's currently worked towards fighting the opioid epidemic, reducing infant mortality, and working on improving education, among other things. She, she's lived in Ohio for over 25 years, and she's graduated from Indiana University. And throughout her career, she served on many different councils and committees throughout like every level of politics. Now we're moving on to Delaware County and their ballot issues. The first one is a tax levy regarding the Delaware City School District is renewal or continuation of the 2010 levy that generated 9.4 million annually for the district. It represents about 27% of the district's property taxes and the levies which means that the levy's cost um, is $359 per $100,000 of home valuation. Due to rollback laws, the new renewal option maintains the existing taxes, even as property values rise. And um, an inability to vote the tax levy in will result in $9.4 million of cuts from the district. Okay, so, uh... This proposed tax levy for Delaware County applies to all of Delaware County, excluding the cities of Dublin, Columbus, and Westerville. If voted for, residents will experience an increase in of $1.75 in property tax per $100,000 of property value annually. This means that this will bring the annual total from $17.63 to $19.38 in property tax per $100,000 of property. Uh, this levy will collect funds for upgrades in 9-11 services and emergency communications. If voted for by the majority of voters, the new levy will begin collecting in 2022. The following will be candidates running for Ohio House of Representatives in District 67. Okay. Uh, Representative Chris Jordan, the current incumbent for the House, is running for re-election in the Ohio House of Representatives. 
Jordan got his BA in political science from the Ohio State University. At 25, Jordan was elected as Delaware County Commissioner. Jordan previously served on the Ohio Senate representing District 18 from 2011 to 2018. In office, Jordan has consistently fought to reduce government spending and to reduce property taxes. Another priority of his campaign is to create jobs. In addition, he's a strong social conservative. So Jordan has also fought to protect the unborn in his tenures in both the Ohio House and Ohio Senate. As a member of the NRA, Jordan also seeks to defend uh, people's constitutional rights. Uh, running to be a representative for District 67 in the Ohio House of Representatives is Dr. Rachel Morocco. Dr. Morocco attended Mount Union College for her undergrad degree in biology and then received her medical degree from Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Uh, she has worked at Nationwide Children's Hospital since 2011 and is now a professor at The Ohio State University. Her experience as a doctor helped push her, helped push her into advocating for affordable health care for all. Jordan is also a advocate for improvements in the education system and is a strong supporter for gun safety laws. She also seeks to expand mental health services and drug abuse addiction, uh, drug abuse education slash prevention and increase access to treatment for those affected by addiction. Next will be the candidates running for county commissioner whose full term starts January 2nd, 2021. Uh, so Jacob H. Fathbruckner is a Democrat running for county commissioner. He's currently serving on the Delaware County Transit Board, and he seeks to improve the public transportation in Columbus. In a quote, Fathbruckner said, everything, everyone in this country matters, and we need to look at the whole picture as opposed to just what development is good for the most powerful people, or the people who live in the biggest area, or the people who produce the most tax dollars. He is running against the Republican incumbent, Gary Merrill. Merrill has been the county commissioner from 2012. Um, before becoming county commissioner, Merrill was a successful entrepreneur in the newspaper industry. Um, his main goal as county commissioner is to preserve our rural areas. Uh, in a quote, Merrill said, the country is transitioning from rural to urban. My goal as commissioner is that we maintain the beauty of the rural areas and support it. It's not our goal to overnight become an urban community. It's not going to happen because landowners decide to sell their property. We don't control that. It's our goal to make sure that it's done right. The final position will be the judge of the Court of Appeals for the 5th District in Delaware County. Sam, you're muted. Yeah, so Jeff Mayer is running for the judge of Court of Appeals. He got his JD from Capital, his LLM from also from Capital, and his MBA also from Capital and BS from OSU. And he actually runs a legal practice, and he has served on the Johnstown, Johnstown City Council. And he's represented many, many clients before the federal district courts, thus giving him previous experience in the operations of the courts. And his main goal is to serve his community and state, and he pledges to make fair decisions for the public and to interpret the law fairly. The incumbent is William B. Hoffman, and he's a current judge in the Ohio Fifth District's Court of Appeals. He received his JD from University of Akron Law School and his BA from College of Worcester. He served the court since 1988 and also served as a prosecuting attorney. Uh, he's consistently received high evaluations from his local lawyers bar association, and he pledges to process all case in, cases in a timely manner and use fair decisions for the people of his district. So that concludes the candidates for Delaware County. If you have any questions, you can email me. Thank you.